we are at the moment the world's most important fusion lab. I'm biased, but you know, I think that's true. We're the only place you can actually do it. We have this new innovative device, which we call a spherical tokamak, and the name of this one is MAST, and uh, we're upgrading it. Um, it's a smaller, more compact kind of device for doing fusion um, that may allow us to make fusion at a cheaper and more efficient way. And it's very important that we keep the size down, that we keep the cost down, and we make it as efficient as possible. Because when we come to market, we want the consumer to want to buy the electricity. Um, and this is what the drive of this experiment is. So there's some very nice things about fusion, one of which is that the fuel is available everywhere. It just comes from water. Right? and we can extract it from the sea or whatever. So the fuels will never be a problem. So it's available to everybody. But what's difficult about fusion is the high technology. All the technology that has to go into these devices like JET and like MAST right, is at the cutting edge of what we're capable of doing. So what we have to be able to do is to make that technology cheaply, efficiently, simply, so that it becomes a, a practical power source rather than just a, something you can do in science labs. Our job as scientists is to make that happen. At the moment, our plan is to get some fusion electricity in the 2040s, which sounds a long way off, but actually, you know, it takes many years to build a new power station. So 2040s is probably the first electricity. And then before the end of the century, you know, a, a sizable amount of commercial electricity generated by fusion. People often ask me, do we need a moon? project? Do we need a Manhattan project? Do we need a project in which we really focus the whole world on delivering this? It would be very nice to do that. Because once we've solved this problem of fusion, we've essentially solved the problem of producing energy forever. Right? And, and maybe 200 years from now we'll look back and we'll say, why, it was so obvious what we had to do. It, it ain't quite so obvious right now. What we want to do now is to push through these innovations so that when we go to ITER in France, we're supporting that. But ultimately, we want to design the first electricity producing reactor here. We want to be at the forefront of taking this technology to market and making fusion electricity because it's incredibly important. We have to replace the carbon dioxide producing fuel sources that dominate the world's market at the moment. 80% of the world's energy is produced by burning something. We've got to stop that.